take out. So I thought I'll just show you guys some PCB population that I'm busy with. So as you guys know, we're busy with the coronavirus and I thought, ah, oh, a bit stuck. So uh, I ordered some PCBs from Seed Studio, but they have not arrived for three months. Uh, the coastal lights. So as you can see, I've got it here. So I'm going to populate it now with the stencil. And then I've got a handy reflow oven that I'll use. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll show you guys what I do. So I've got some solder paste. Uh, I've got a stencil here with the pattern. So then I'm just going to, as you can see underneath here, I'm going to squeegee it. Squeegee, squeegee, squeegee. So if you look, what I'm going to kind of do is, you'll see the LEDs on the outer edge. Uh, I've got my ESP footprint. Uh, let's see if I can see it. That's my USB CP2103. Got some voltage regulators, and that's about it. A battery charging circuit. That there. So that's about it. Pretty simple circuit, but yeah, let's see how it goes. So it's important to clean up the solder paste off because otherwise it becomes hard and then it's very difficult to use again. So I've got well, lots of PCBs, as you can but I'm first going to do one and test it because there might be some problems. There might be some problems with circuitry. So for now, I'll just clean this and then start placing the components one by one. Another thing is you always want to put your solder paste into a fridge. So this one will do now. Don't judge. It's my beer fridge. My electronics fridge. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the circuit section by section. So I've got my handy tweezers. I've got my components. So I've got some uh, what's that? USB connectors. I've got a CP2103, and then I've got my resistor box with my resistors and my voltage regulators and stuff. So it helps me organize. Uh, it doesn't help to be like me, so I'm not that organized, <laughs> to be honest. So a lot of stuff I need to find, and don't know where it is. Look at that, it's a mess. My friends would not be pleased. Um, so yeah, I've got the circuit. Oh, it does funny on the GoPro, but that's fine. So I'm going to look at the circuit, look what I need to place, and place it by hand. And then after everything's placed, I'll put it in the oven. So I'll probably start with the CP2103. So that's the circuit that controls the USB, how to program it. And my ESP. Uh, that is the microcontroller that I've spoken about a lot on my Instagram and Facebook. And now I've got my voltage regulator, my and the battery charger. And that's about it. Very simple circuit.
So I just popped out some stuff. Um, so today is probably the last time that we can have supper at a restaurant for a couple of weeks. So we are going out now. But the bad things about this way of doing things is I can't leave this for long. So I populated the difficult stuff and now I'm going to put it in the reflow oven at least. Then I can just hands all the rest. Well, that's the idea. So if I switch on my trusty reflow oven. So there you'll see three different temperatures and that is the three different temperatures inside there. And it's moving. So now this will go in here and then it will slowly melt all the solder paste and then it will just stick together. That's the idea. So I've got my LEDs, my USB, uh, my voltage and the rest I'll do by hand. Yeah, what Corona does. And there's my USB. So the most difficult part is that there. It's not focusing, but it's the CP2104 and that is the USB to serial link. Cool guys. I wonder if you'll be able to see the solder go. 